Hello guys, as you can see it's just me again and as you can tell by the end of the video I want to talk about this here. Um, this is MHAR's 132nd, sorry, 135th scale um, I need to get my words correct first before I start practicing. Um, mail tank. Um, and as I want to say, it's just finished. It's finished, and everything is out of the box. To be honest, everything I've not bought anything different. It's completely out of the box, and the only thing that I've changed is the guns. All I did was just drill them out with like a little knife and drill bit and it's come out nicely. And also what I want to well say is um the weathering on it or the weathering that I've not used any pigments or weathering materials, that is all acrylic paint I've used that I've just been down. So it sounds really really proud of it because it's my first first world war vehicle and you know I'm really happy about how it's the way it's turned out that's of course that's the box art and um, when I first looked at it you know I thought it wasn't going to be like, well I thought it was actually going to be a difficult kit because it's like so difficult it looked but it turned out really nice surprisingly it's my first MR kit it turned out nice and um, the only thing I want to point out now the decals horrible now, there's only one put this crap now, that is a leftover of the decal that's supposed to go on the front that didn't happen because, um, as you know, my, I used decal fix in my previous slideshow videos, and it just wouldn't stick to the model. And that was a bit of a shame, really. But the only ones that did stick, of course, was the, the numbers on the back. Was that two, three, two, four kit, and I. I'm really happy about it, to be honest. Yeah, that's what I'll say. The tracks were a bit difficult, but I managed to get on. So the only thing I could say bad, say bad about the kit is the decals, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'd recommend it for like, not for beginners though, just like for more experienced models. Modelers, sorry. Um, also that, of course, Hundred years First World War thing kicking off, so I thought I'll make a little diorama, I'll think. So not sure if it's good enough drawing, but that's the drawing I was the diorama, well the drawing of the diorama I was going to do, the mail tank going over the Jim and Forces little. German soldier there, and excuse me for a second, it's underneath this lot. Which I bought these off the internet German assault troops from ICM. Uh, to us, I was really happy because I was looking at that, this figure here, and it's kind of top of these shouting, but. No saying don't joke a book by its cover. That's happened to me. Because in the picture, in the box art, it's got him shouting. You know, it looks so he's like, you know, the thing which I wanted. But I'm not very organised here. There it is. And the actual model, so that's it so far. Um, his face doesn't look attractive, doesn't? Just looks normal. 
I wonder if it would work, but not sure if it will pick up the camera, but that's what's happened. I'm just a bit disappointed about it, but I'm still still going to go ahead with it. Put it in. That's the like your weapons there. Uh, I'm a German figure, but I don't know what to do with these. Of course I need the rifles and the equipment to go around the trench. So it's been abandoned and he's the only one left. And of course the tank driving over the top. So I'll have to keep you updated on that. So let's carry on. But I just thought, because it's 100 years First World War, um, I thought it would be a nice idea and change built on those aircraft modelling. That's, and of course my drawing shows it's going over the top. Talking about the subject of drawings as well, I also want to show you guys this, these. I'm not sure if pick you up, pick that up. That is a drawing I did of um, a submarine Spitfire with the desert shooting down the 109. Good. Um, not sure what to do with it yet. And also, my final one, this one, of Blenheims, British Blenheims, Mark 1s, going over the sky. <laughs> what else can I say? Um, that's it for the minute. The only so JU eighty-eight is the only thing I've done is the pilot seat so far. And of course the co pilot seat. Still not finished yet though, but that's it so far, so it's set. And also, I just want to say thank you for all the subscribers that I've had and all the comments that I've had since my recent video. Because when I started, I only had like the sideshow videos, I only had 90 subscribers. But now, thanks to that video, me recording myself, it's boosted me up to 36. And it's all because of you guys. And I just want to say thank you so much and all your support that you've had, all the comments and everything. So, yeah, I just really. Wish you all best. Thank you very much for all the comments, and there should be some pictures at the end of the sideshow. I need to stop saying that word, it's getting annoying. It's that other video. So, so I suspect, wait around for another update.